Question. I think in a such market as Germany, nothing can be described as common. It's all immature. Everybody is uh, following his own concept. Uh, as Thomas said, in Germany, it's a resi product. And uh, if you look into the demographics and the uh, development of the demand and offer, it's quite obvious that students, young professionals, commuters have more or less the same requirements. And uh, that's why we do not limit ourselves to students only, pretty much also depending on micro and macro location. But if you are in an economically attractive city in Germany, it makes a lot of sense to broaden your scope and also embrace young professionals, as, as this borderline between students and young professionals is fluctuating anyway. And uh, you could also attract some commuters, and if you have a layout where you can, for example, separate floor-wise or by different uh, fittings and amenities, it makes a lot of sense also to, to create some robustness on the, on the tenancy side by being more open and liberal. I think in the Netherlands we see similar uh, dynamics that um, to facilitate student housing the government introduced campus contracts which mean that you can uh, virtually cancel the contract when a person is not a student anymore but now the issue is that student has to find a new home in the cities they want to work and they cannot find it because they don't have the income yet to, to pay up for the, for the bigger homes. Um, so there's the dynamic that now has come into play is that for the, the starters, young professionals, there's not a good offer. And I think in the projects that we are developing, we have the smaller studios for the, student, for the students, but we will have other buildings, or you could potentially have it in the same building, but we prefer now to do it in separate buildings with the same setup, where you make uh, larger studios or one bedrooms that really are still below 50 square meters. So they are small, smaller than the traditional stock, but that really cater to that starter that they can still afford it. And then they can still use the same uh, amenity package you are offering for the students and the young professionals. So I think it's a very interesting uh, strategy and it widens your resident base. So it should also be considered a more residential, lower risk strategy.